national championship game. I want that one on. Right? <laughs> <laughs> with, what would you do is when you look back on this past year, how do you feel he balanced that baseball football juggle and, and how does it impact his development? He, I thought he handled it pretty well. Um, you know, there, there were some definitely some, some challenges built in this year, just being, you know, the first year. And obviously baseball's had to move around a little bit with their, with their stadium uh, under construction. And so, but I thought, you know, baseball coaches, you know, Coach Stank and all those guys did a great job. Strength coaches did a great job. Uh, we learned a lot, you know, like you always do. I mean, we took the experiences of, you know, Kyler and the other guys that we've had do it, to do it um, that have done it before, and we were able to, I think, have a plan. But then you also got to learn each individual guy, you know, and their body and what's their workload in football, what's their workload in baseball going to be like. Uh, typically, that first year in baseball, you know, Deuce didn't do a whole lot his senior year baseball wise, so it takes a little bit of getting back into it. And so, um, but yeah, I think it got better as the year went on. I know his baseball got better as the year went on. He was able to do a little bit early in the summer before we came back here, and then he's been full go from a football standpoint. So it's been good getting him settled back in on the field. And I think all of us have a bunch of notes and, and a lot of experiences now directly with him that we'll use this time around next year. What did you see from the corner position, the battle there? It's, it, there's depth. There's, there's a lot of depth. There's a lot of competition. Um, we've been able to, with the way that we teach the secondary, we don't, we don't split those guys up much. And so our secondary meets in the same room almost every single day. So it's given us the ability to, to work more guys at corner, more people, I think, that understand the, the full group. Uh, so, yeah, it's been, it's been good. I mean, you know, Covington has done a nice job. Um, you know, we've worked Jalen Smith uh, out there a little bit. Uh, obviously, you know, DeCarlos has done a good job. John Humphrey's back going full go now. He was limited in the beginning of camp. He's been able to participate on most of it, but he's now to the point where he's full go, so it's good to have him back. Uh, Prophet's done a nice job. I've uh, been really impressed uh, with the, the two freshmen. I know we talked about Marcella some in spring, and he's done a good job as well. And uh, Braylon Conley's really, really, you know, caught some eyes out here the first couple of weeks. He, he's not hesitant, uh, has stepped in there and competed. And, and uh, so, yeah, there's some depth, you know, and that's, that's what we wanted. Um, a lot of competition. I could see it honestly going a lot of different ways right now, but in a in a good thing. We've been pleased with the position. Lincoln, right. how's uh, Braylon Shelby doing? Uh, any update on him? Yeah, he's good. He's progressing. He's been able to do some limited work with us. He's not full yet, but should be very soon. Lincoln, Lincoln with uh, you know Brendan and uh, Taj going to the NFL, how do you feel? You know your young receivers. You know Makai, Jacoby have really stepped up this year. I know you still have some veterans in the room, but for them and potentially getting more responsibilities and opportunities heading into this season. Yeah, I mean, a lot of those guys got a chance to, to do it in the bowl game, which was a, you know, was a great start. Um, yeah, I mean, listen, guys like, like, like Taj and Rice, you know, played a lot of snaps around here, a lot of experience. Um, you've been in the fight with those guys a lot. And, you know, a lot of these guys are going to get their chances. And, and, uh, and, you know, the consistency that those guys provided, especially, especially Taj, you know, is, is always you can't ever take that for granted, learn, learn that, you know, going through the years, man. It's just – the steadiness of who's going to be there every day. I mean, this group we have is capable of is capable of a lot, uh, but you got to go do it. And it's not just one play or one night. It's week in and week out. It's practice in and practice out. It's the you know making the tough plays, pe- battling through the injuries, staying available. You know, both Rice and Taj did a great job of that throughout their careers. I mean, they were available all the time. I mean, they just did not miss anything, and that'll be important for this group to have the same durability and consistency because talent-wise. You know, we 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 uh, we're excited about where we're at in that room. Still to you in the scrimmages so far. The scrimmage, you have? Uh, the, scrimmage uh, the defense. I mean, that the defense. I mean, defense dominated the scrimmage. Um, you know, offense got a couple of scores late, but it was the the first. If it was a game, the first three three and a half quarters were, were dominated defensively. Uh, played played really good red zone defense. Put the offense in a bunch of third and longs, and so. I thought we just we collectively played well there. Didn't give up many explosive plays. Uh, played pretty penalty free. Uh, we were excited about the way that we tackled for it being. We, we've done some live sessions, but the first full live scrimmage, uh, we were excited about the way that we tackled. So a lot of bright spots there. Coach, coming out of spring, uh, you were looking to have some help defensive on the defensive line on the interior. Mm-hmm. After the first ten days, where's your concern now? Do you still have one? Well, I mean, there's just always areas that you're looking to address. I mean, you know, I, I'd say, you know, that that concern, we've been really pleased with, with Gavin and you know, bringing him in. I mean, it's very apparent that he's going to have an opportunity to make a big impact for us, and not just the way he plays, but just his attitude, the way that he's joined the team, like 
culture wise and locker room wise he fits exactly what we want um, and is going to be a really good player so we've been thrilled with that addition um, young guys are, are talented and consistent it'll be kind of this second half of camp of who can really take that jump from a consistency standpoint they all have uh, they all have talent to be able to potentially contribute but they are going to have to show more consistency to be able to trust them um, yeah, I mean, there's still definitely some position battles going on on the O-line, you know, as that as that plays out. We've had a couple of guys banged up through camp, nothing serious, but we've, we have, we, it's kind of, the, there's always positives and negatives. There hasn't been as much continuity. There's a few guys that we wanted to see a little bit more, but we have had to move a lot of guys around, which has been a positive because you build, like, what what's going to happen in the season at some point, and you build that experience. So for the ones that have been healthy, it's been a great thing. But excited to get those guys back and try to get some clarity on that as we, you know, get a little bit closer to the first game. Coach, Thank with, you. All the, uh, with all the changes going on in college football this season, uh, compared to the first two seasons, does this feel like more of a transitional season for you and the program, or how are you feeling with that? Um, uh, it's tough to compare. I mean, in some ways, I mean, some ways a lot more settled here, and we've again some of the groundwork that we've done in the first two years. You're starting to feel the results of it, so I think feeling in some ways more settled that way, but. Obviously, there, again, there's a lot new as well, and so I think that's kind of the, just the the norm now in college football. Right? It just kind of things kind of change and evolve, and you got to be able to deal with it and handle it and have answers and have strategies and be ready to forward think each and every day. So it's uh, you never know what challenge is going to face you each morning when you get up. Lincoln, uh, Lincoln Bear and Coach Henny talked about Bear's consistency and his motor and that being better in this season. How have you seen him kind of respond to that challenge, and how important is it? that he does sort of live up to that motor, that consistency for this defensive line to, to improve? It's really important. I mean, it's, uh, you know, he, he missed the majority of spring, and so, you know, he's this this camp is really, really important for him to to get going in terms of what we're doing defensively. And I know we've talked a lot about the, the defensive line changes and how we're playing and schematically and all that. So it's a, it's, it's a very, very important camp for him. He's... Uh, He's shown that he's got the ability to be an explosive player, but he's also, you know, been a player that his inconsistencies have hurt us. Like any other player's inconsistencies are going to hurt you. So, you know, whether it's whether it's uh, effort all the time, whether it's whether it's being in the correct gap, playing blocks the way that we want to play them, aligning correctly, it's like all those little things that where you step up from being a guy that flashes to a guy that, like what I truly term a great player, like. I think the outside, you term great player, and you, you know, a lot of people think of, well, did I see a couple highlight plays or a sack here, or this play that ended up on the highlights. Like, that ain't a great player. That's a great play. A great player is somebody that does just routine things over and over and over. Their bad plays are not very bad, and then they're capable of having a really good play here and there. And that's, you know, we need him to take more steps in that direction. I think he's got great intent to do it. And uh, but this, this, like I said, this stretch for him is going to be very, very important. Thank you, Coach Riley. Thanks, Coach. Thanks.